It's Friday and you know what that means. Let's do a little bit of sewing chat. I'm Mari with Mari Sews and thanks for hanging with me you all. So I really do love these Friday Sews because it's an opportunity for me to just kind of tell you all about what I've been working on, what's been on my mind, um, what I'm planning on making. And that's actually where I'm gonna really need your help today because I, I need some help choosing some patterns here. Uh, Friday Sews was actually created by Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room. And of course, I'll put her link in the description box below so you can find her easily. But I guess let's just start off with what I've been working on. I have been trying to get a good pair of shorts this week. And I have to admit, I haven't really been that successful. So I pulled out this pattern, which is McCall 7726. And I really love view A here. It's just a high waisted pant. It's got, you know, a little bit of volume down here at the legs. And I thought, oh man, that's going to be so cute, especially made up in an Ankara fabric. You all, it did not work out. <laughs> it didn't. I cannibalized one of my old curtains and I made up my wearable muslin here. Went downstairs to ask my husband what he thought about the fit. And can you believe the first thing out of his mouth was, And those are curtains? Dude, focus. Yes, they were the curtains. So I will say that with this pattern, um, the instructions were very clear and actually really easy to follow along, including the zipper um, instructions that they had included. The issue that I have with these sh shorts is that there's not enough space in the badunka dunk for me. And I mean, like, look, I know I've got I've got a lot of booty back there. And so I knew that the next time I was going to have to do a full seat adjustment or like a big booty adjustment because I need the space. And really, my butt was robbing the front from all of its fabric. So I had some really crazy drag lines, not to mention that my hips pretty much took up all of that extra space from the pleats. So the pleats were pulling in really, really weird directions. Also, these shorts were made for someone with a consider considerably longer torso than I have, because check out this picture. <laughs> Those shorts practically go up to my boobs. I mean, they are so long and it's supposed to be a high-waisted pair of pants, but I mean, that's like, that's really kind of pushing it. So for my next version, I decided to lower all of this down to that stitch line there. And I made a full seat adjustment and I went to work on some Ankara that I had left over. Now, I did lower the waistband on these, so that ended up being really good. The issue that I still had, though, was that my butt was still taking up all of that extra fabric, and there was some pulling, so I must not have done a big enough full seat adjustment. Not only that, but these shorts gave me a bit of a wedgie, so I have to go back in and scoop out the butt. So I've I've gone back in, I've released those side seams so I can adjust the crotch here and just kind of scoop out that butt a bit more. And then I'm going to take a smaller seam allowance at both sides to kind of give myself a little more space. And then I'm going to call this done and move on to another pattern because you all, uh, I can't I can't let this thing steal my sewing joy. It's just, <laughs> it's not going to happen. So I'm going to finish these shorts. They're going to be wearable. They're going to be imperfect, but I think they're going to be fine. And I'm going to try out another shorts pattern. <laughs> now, while we're talking about Ankara, um, let me just share with you that all of these fabrics that I'm going to be asking your help for in pattern matching all came from different sites and I actually did a haul video on these so if you missed it you can just click on the link above and catch up on that 
my friend all set and I ended up going to a shop here in Maryland that was amazing. Now, for me, I feel like I have, I have a good amount of fabric here to work with, but she went back to Miss Winnie's shop and got some more. And I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, girl, you went without me? Man, I must have snatched one too many fabrics out of Allset's hands. Like, girl, do you need that? No, no, you don't need that. She has an amazing fabric stash. By the way, she just started her own YouTube channel and I'm gonna link her in the description box below. It's called Stitch Treasures. Make sure you follow her because she has the most amazing stash that I've seen, like fabric stash. Definitely check her out. And you know what, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a link up here to her video as well because she also did a pattern and Ankara matching session. So go and check her out. So this was one of the fabrics that I actually picked up from African Eleganza. And I picked this up with the idea of making a pair of pants. And so I, I think I know where I'm gonna go with this. I wanna make another pair of one of Mimi G's pants right here, the cargo pants. I've made these be before and actually I made them way too large, but I'm thinking about sizing down and making these up in this fabric right here. And I think it'll be really beautiful actually. However, part of me wants to make it up in this pattern. So this view right here, this is McCall's 8118. This one goes up to an XXL and it only takes about two yards of fabric. So I thought that that would be a really fun version. And there's a lot of ease in these pants. It has an elasticated waist. So I don't, I'm not worried about all of the pleat issues that I had with that last pair of shorts that I tried to work out. And then there's also this pattern. So this is McCall's 7985. And I was thinking about making these pull on pants right here. With these, you can shorten them, you can lengthen them, you can do whatever you want with them. I don't know, maybe a pair of shorts in that. Um, I mean, that's an idea as well. Now you all, I've actually made this top right here with that high low hem. Tops with like these kind of high and low hems are perfect for Ankara because the fabric is double-sided. So it's not like you're gonna have this crazy looking wrong side that people are gonna see. It really does look beautiful. Plus the stiffness of the fabric with that peplum, mm, it's just, it's perfect. So when it comes to this fabric, I think I really am going to make this pant pattern. Let me, let me know if you agree that that's what I should do. Okay, so this beautiful fabric right here, my peacock feathers. Oh man, I love this. I, so look, you all like, I picked out some really fancy patterns here and then some not so fancy ones. Really, I don't have anywhere to wear this stuff to, but you know, like it doesn't matter. I'm gonna wear it anyways. So this one. This is one of Vogue's new patterns. This is Vogue 1802. And look, you all, I mean, this longer version would be it. Do I have enough fabric for that? Yep, I do. The reason why I'm thinking about this one is because it has some of my favorite features for Ankara usage. It has this big old bow on the back, see? It has like that big old tie. And so that bow would actually stand up pretty nicely in this fabric right here, cause it's a little substantive. And then the ruffle at the bottom would just be so cute. And then extra bonus pockets, right? So I'm thinking about Vogue 1802 for this one. Now, okay, sticking along with the whole Vogue idea, I'm also thinking about this one, Vogue 1708. Now this pattern I think came out last year, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a pair of pants and the pants have like an elastic waist and then like 
some big old loose fabric that you can tie around your waist. And look at the drawing right here. You can see how that's just actually two really long pieces of fabric. I really feel like the width of these pants would really let this fabric shine. And then to bring it around with that bow, I think it would look really cute. And pockets. <laughs> so these two are my fancy schmancy patterns that I could use to for this fabric, right? I picked out some that aren't as fancy, so I could probably get more day-to-day -day use out of it. And it's this one right here, which is McCall 7813. Now this is a, another one of those high-low hems. I, I actually like this asymmetric view, uh, maybe this one, where you can see the wrong side there. It has a fold-over waist, um, a tie belt that you can make with it. It's really, it's really cute. And I think it'll be nice for summer as well. The other more wearable day-to-day -day one was this dress right here. And it's just a shirt dress with a, an asymmetric hem right here that kind of hangs lower. This is Butterick 6771, the color. I just think that it would be really fun in this fabric. Out of all of these patterns, my two favorites are these. Um, and really, I would love to have this dress right here in the fabric. I just think that would be so beautiful. Even the shorter view would be adorable, but I do feel like I'd get more wear out of this and I could wear it into the office. Well, if, if I'm honest, I, I would wear either of these into the office. <laughs> But that's not until September. So, which one? This one? This one, right? I think so. Now let's talk about these two fabrics because part of me is really thinking that I need to do some color blocking. I especially like how this purple ties in with that color right in there. And so if I do go the color blocking route, it'll most likely be with this pattern right here, which is Vogue 1683. And I would make this view right here without a doubt. Um, this would be perfect because it has that, well, it has this skirt right here underneath, and then it has that big old peplum overlay, which I just think would look so freaking beautiful in these fabrics. I'm, I don't know which direction I would put these fabrics. Would I, should I put the purple with the underskirt and then this with the overskirt? Actually, I would probably reverse it. Use this as the underskirt and then this as the overskirt. I'm not doing a good job of showing this to you. Hang on, hang on. This on the bottom and then this as the peplum or the other way or should I do this as the skirt wait that's upside down this as the skirt uh, okay I guess it's whatever direction I want it and then this as the over that looks good right yeah I, I don't know maybe this as the peplum over the top. Mm, I think I think that would be so good. But here's the thing. I also had different ideas for this fabric, um, especially this one right here. I have six yards of this beautiful purple, and I was thinking that it would also be really cute made up in one of Mimi G's recent releases, which is Simplicity 9330. The jumpsuit here and it has that little tie coming across the waist but I think that would be beautiful made up in this purple and actually now that I'm thinking about it I have a black and white fabric coming in from um, House of Mamiwara that would look really cute in that so maybe I'll just do that in the black and white that's coming now I also think that it would be 
lovely made up in this shirt dress right here too with the nice little ties the big old pockets i think that would be really pretty in that as well if i do use this fabric to make this top right here then i would definitely use this fabric for that pair of paper bag shorts that i was showing you earlier with the elastic you know just the pull up ones and i think that would be cute <laughs> out of both of these patterns this one is really calling to me i mean it's just like the color blocking options are they're calling my name however this really would be easier to wear to work for sure <laughs> look i know that i've been kind of jumping around everywhere in all of my excitement so just a quick recap peacock fabric with either vogue 1802 or butterick 6771 let me know which one's your favorite the teal and tan in either McCall 7985, the pull on pants here, Mimi G's 8889, that's simplicity, or the McCall 8118, um, actually the shorts version right here. And you know, I mean, honestly, you all, I'm really leaning towards these pants right here. And then there's these two fabrics, my purple and my teal in purple in either Vogue 1683 with the color blocking or Simplicity 8830 in the shirt dress right here. Let me know which ones are your favorite. Quickly, I wanted to go through a couple of other patterns that I thought would work beautifully with Ankara fabric. And I'll tell you why I think they would look so beautiful with it. Um, this one, Simplicity 9113. This is more of a relaxed fit, but I like the clean lines that this one has, and I think that it would actually allow the bold design to stand out. Um, I would do the one without the buttons, um, either one of these two versions, but that would be really beautiful. And then this one was actually a bit of a no-brainer. This is Simplicity 9329, but it looks like Mamie G actually made up this... Um, what is that? A fit and flare dress with two different colored Ankara's. So she did some color blocking there. Um, so that would be nice. Ankara is perfect for fit and flares or like puffy sleeve details because it does have that body. It has like a little bit of stiffness to it. So it'll help give shape to those different areas. And then while we're talking about color blocking, Vogue 1804. Now this pattern here, the top, is, this is a woven pattern, by the way. So you can do some really fun color blocking there. And then there's this skirt right here, which is Vogue 1684. Now this skirt would be great because this little detail right here would actually stand out nicely with the um, stiffness that Ankara has. And this skirt also shows the wrong side. You can see here. So because Ankara fabrics are actually double-sided, it would be really, it would be a beautiful application. Vogue 1645. This long, uninterrupted piece that you wrap over would really allow Ankara to shine. Um, there are some, some, seam, some seam lines in the back here, but overall, <laughs> An Ankara design would really shine in this. Things with pleats. Ankara, because it's 100% cotton, it is going to take a pleat like no one's business. So something like this would work. This is Simplicity 8840. Simplicity 8693. Now I was actually looking at this one for this view. It has this collar here, which is nice and structured and that would look beautiful in the cotton. But then it has a bit of a puff sleeve here with like a gathered, um, that gets gathered into a little band. So that would stand out nicely. Peplum, of course. This is Simplicity 1425. Any of these views, really. Any would look great. And then on the kitty side, anything with ruffles. Look at that adorable little top there. That would look so cute. 
in Ankara. And then this one has the ruffle detail around the neckline there. That would also look really cute. We covered a lot of ground here from what I've been working on to helping me plan out next week's sewing projects as well as some suitable patterns for Ankara fabric. And I hope that you're feeling inspired to give Ankara fabric a try. If you wanna see one of my Ankara garments in action, check out this video over here, which was the first garment that I made that made me fall in love with Ankara. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.